Hey guys, it's Kalen from Draft Studios here, and today we're going to be creating a logo that has two mountains, kind of a uh, nature-based mountain-based logo for something like a ski resort or a uh, hiking company, for example. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Illustrator here and uh, open up a letter size page document. So with this letter size page document here, you're going you're to want to take your pen tool and just create a line right here. Yeah, a line right here. Add some handles there, some more handles, and there, just like that, simple line. Press V to exit out of that. Um, now you got your line here. Now on the side, you're going to see stroke on appearance. Uh, so we're going to take this here, take line 7, no, it's a little too thick, maybe 5. It's perfect. Now you're going to want to take your pen tool. Uh, go touch on this anchor here. You're going to go up. So this is going to be our first mountain. And you don't have to be exact with this, but you just kind of want to press here. That's good. Now go down here. You can edit this path with the A tool. Uh, direct selection tool. So you press A to get to that. And now you can move around this point and uh, put it on the path. There you go. So that's our first mountain. Now, second one, we're going to start over here. It's going to be a little bit smaller. And it doesn't want me doing that, so just press there and then click A, direct selection tool, and uh, manipulate this point and put it right on the path there. Uh, this math then seems a little crooked, almost. So we're going to take this, move it over there. Perfect. Those are our two main mountains. And then, third mountain is going to come up behind here and um, just go in the back like that so these mountains kind of you can change them if you want to uh, to make them a little more straight or non crooked but yeah just like that so there's your basic shape I hate allergies so you want to take this maybe let's make the line thickness a little bit thicker okay so, that's pretty so that for line thickness is pretty good I'm gonna keep it like that um, now what you're going to want to do is go down here and curve these paths. So select each one individually up here where it says corners. Let's increase it to, that's not curved enough. Or yeah, or you can just drag this down here. Curve each corner. So I prefer to go up here, it's more precise. And you can have each corner rounded the same way. That's way too much curve. We got like three. So go through on each corner. Yeah, if you try to make it a compound shape using the Pathfinder tool, what's going to happen is you're going to get these lines here because it's trying to link these paths. So that is not going to work. The thing that you're going to want to do now is create some snow for these mountain peaks, right? Because what's the point of having mountains if you don't have snow? So what I'm going to do is take my polygon tool right here, drag this out, um, and we're going to want to move down the number of points right here. Press and drag until you have three. Shift X, convert that. Press, um, that was the slash mark to make my, uh, to make my stroke zero. I'm just going to drag this down here and make this nice and nice and neat. Yeah, there we go. Yep, so that's going to be our the base for what we're going to do here. Now you're going to want to take L you may drag out some circles. You're going to make the fill white just so that they stand out. And here, you're going to want to um, make this a little smaller. And I'm just using these as okay. So you're going to want to take this, delete this one, that one. All right. Now you're going to want to take these lines again, and this time make the fill black. No, not red, black. Stretch this out if it's not close enough. Now 
this right here isn't working well for you, you can press cut. You can cut at these anchors here. Then select the top half and delete it. Over here. Cut. Delete that top half. So now, that's our snow. And then from here, you can take all this. Oopsie daisies. And take all the circles. And what I like to do is Command G, which groups it together. And then you can adjust this uh, separately. All right, there we go. That's the snow for one of them. Um, we're gonna Alt and drag this over. That copies it, and then you can adjust it for here as well. Um, let's just try to get this perfect here. There we go. It's pretty good. And Alt Shift again. All right, so this. Then I press Alt. This saves a lot of time when creating the same shape over and over again. Just Alt Shift and drag it over, and then you can edit it just a little bit. So there are the mountain peaks. Uh, right now, it's looking a little sketchy in terms of coloring. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna make it something like a nice. Uh, no, that was fill. You're gonna want to take stroke, and you're gonna make that like a nice. Uh, let's make that like a dark green so they don't have that swath. So I'm going to want to take this here and adjust it to get there. And I did not want to add that to my library, but now that's where it is. I take all these shapes here. Now since, since these are groups, you won't be able to edit this individually. So if you go into Pathfinder, no, that's our forward players. If you go to um, Properties tab here. Command Shift Group, which ungroups it, and you can use Pathfinder to make that all the same. But that's not wanting to work for me right now. You can also do too is press the white circles minus front, and that will take it out, and then use Combine Path. So now these are all one path. So when I change the color, right, make sure you're selecting uh, Fill right there. So that's fill, and then boop. And what's nice too is I made the swath a global swath. So if you double click this, you'll see it says global on here. What that means is I can change the color after I've already made it. Like if I want to have it darker, for example, and it'll change all the swaths that are that color, which makes it easier if you want to make color changes once you're done working on a project. So there is our icon for this. Now let's take um, text tool here and for this we're going to use uh, Museo Sans rounded or I do 500 not to do something a little thicker rounded 700 and we're going to make a title for this company it's going to be like uh, uh, Peaks Outdoor Adventures or something so we just do Peaks here drag the size up Make that fill there, peaks, and then underneath it in a different font, we can do something like um, 500. It's down here, drag it out. And let's make both of these green. Peaks, Outdoor Adventures. And now that's, that's it. We're done with that. And if you want to make this like nice and neat, come in, group this, uh, align it inside the middle of the artboard, shift O for the artboard, um, letter, and you can just drag it down so it's perfect size for this. Now you're all ready for export uh, with Peaks Outdoor Adventure. So um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, like and comment below. Uh, show that you guys appreciate uh, what we do here. Um, this is my second tutorial, so don't be too harsh on me. Still kind of learning how these work, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys enjoy learning how to make these cool logos and stuff. Uh, it's definitely enjoyable, enjoyable for me to spread uh, my skills to the YouTube community. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video. 
Uh, subscribe if you like us. Uh, leave a like and a comment below if you really like us. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.